Responding to new globalism is a very timely topic at the Southeast Asia Forum that uh, will be held uh, shortly. Uh, it covers uh, topics of uh, equality and growth, sustainable growth, dealing with the tremendous shocks and shifts that we see in the system, and then obviously, last but not least, the new norms for ACI itself. It is very timely because it's clear that with the population growth that we are seeing, with the increase in standards of living, especially in that part of the world, the strains on the world's resources will be enormous. And the topic of sustainable growth, equitable growth, will be high on the agenda. As a food company, we are specifically interested in the new vision for agriculture, dealing with sustainable sourcing of our agriculturally based materials, deforestation being an important topic on that. We simply have to look together, civil society, NGOs, business communities, finding new business models to address the challenges that we're facing today and hopefully coming with some concrete action steps to drive ourselves to a little better world for all of us. I'm glad that uh, leading through sustainability is one of the prime topics that will be addressed at the forum. We're talking about the Southeast Asia region being a population of 600 million people more or less uh, growing fast and here like anywhere else the challenges of uh, water scarcity, climate change, uh, food shortage are hitting home as well. To find sustainable solutions to this have to be found at the regional level. Much like we launched the Green Growth Corridor Initiative in Tanzania, we're looking to uh, launch equal uh, initiatives of sustainable sourcing uh, in Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand and possibly some other places around there. The new vision for agriculture, which takes a total value chain approach, looking at the social, economic and environmental impacts, is a good guide to help us hopefully lead to a few concrete projects coming out of the summit. The two topics we will specifically focus in on is food security and deforestation. It is clear and also high on the agenda for this G20 that feeding the world will be a major issue. In fact, we have to increase the food supply by about 70% over the next four decades to deal with the two and a half billion more people that are coming in and the rising standards of living. And frankly, even today, we're falling short in many areas already. So how can we set up a sustainable sourcing to feed the world for years to come in a sustainable way? We'll talk about different topics here in terms of the frameworks where governments can help us, importance of globalization, sharing of R&D, investments in agriculture, disturbing or distorting subsidies in some areas, like first generation biofuel, the move from calories to nutrition in providing food for our people, and then most importantly, looking at new ways of ensuring sustainable supply and smallhold farming. One billion people are malnourished, the numbers are going up. We've seen a 40% increase in the price of food, according to the World Bank, just in the last 12 months alone. 40 million more people entering poverty as a result of that. Every six seconds, a child dies of hunger. It's not only companies like us, it is again all of us who need to find the solutions and they need to be found at different levels and these challenges have been created. The second area we will focus on is deforestation. Illegal deforestation is 16% of global warming, one of the major contributors to the issue. We will be actively working with President Bamban and the government in Indonesia to learn from them on how we can go to sustainable forestry, sustainable palm oil. Unilever has made a commitment to be sustainable by 2015. Indonesia has made a major step forward to call for a two-year moratorium on deforestation. Can we shift the industry at rapid pace to sustainable forestry for soy, for beef, for pulp, for palm oil, and contribute significantly to solving some of these issues we've been talking about? 
And last but not least, we will be focused on Project Laser Beam. What if many of the great companies in the world, together with NGOs and government, focus all their efforts, small and big, on a certain part of a region we've chosen Indonesia and Bangladesh to lift a total population out of poverty. You might have know-how in the area of water, others in the area of smallhold farming, some in the areas of hygiene. Concentrating these efforts in one area and looking at it holistically will significantly increase the chances of success in creating longer-term environments where people prosper, where business prospers in an equal and sustainable way. I hope we also can use the Southeast Asia Summit to get some traction and some concrete action steps on that. Thank you, and I certainly look forward to seeing you in Jakarta in a few weeks' time. Thank you.